Hello, Lawn Mowing people. Today I'm going to talk about why Google Maps is a great way to quote on lawns. Now, if you're actively growing your lawn mowing business, you know that quoting on lawns can take a lot of your time up. You have to go through the process, you have to take the call, you get the details, drive to the lawn, give a quote on the location, and then contact the lead later if they're away when you call around. Now, there is an easier way. Now, what if you could use technology to your advantage and use something like Google Maps? And that has a number of features that actually makes quoting on lawns quite easy. Now, here's some reasons why you should use Google Maps to quote on lawns. The pros are, is it can save you a whole lot of time. You can measure up the job while you're on the phone. And if you're at the desk, you can look at the job immediately. You can save money on gas because you, it'll save you driving all over town, especially if you're getting a lot of quotes. So you can pick and choose the quotes that you want. Another thing is that you can do more quotes in a day. If you're handling a large volume of quotes, you can give conditional quotes on leads as they come in. So you could say, hey, look, this is what I'm looking at right now. This is what I think it would be, but I'd have to come around and confirm. I never give a definite quote over the phone like that. But the other thing is, is that you can even quote at night on Google Maps. You can get a call when it's dark and you can still go up and have a look at the, the property on Google Maps. And it also gives you an idea of what you're walking into. So you can get an idea of the quote before you actually get there. And you can measure up the job before you arrive and it'll give you a much better idea of what kind of price to give when you get there. And also you can get an idea of parking. If you're towing a large trailer, you can avoid places that have got really narrow and difficult driveways because you don't really want them on your books anyway. What it's really good for, it's really good for when, for helping you qualify the job. So I like to qualify the lead with a lot of questions and I like to do it visually on Google Maps as well. So you can know immediately whether the job is a good fit for you. If you were looking at, for large jobs or small jobs, it'll give you a chance to have a look at it before you even arrive there. Once you've measured the job, you know whether or not you want it. So we aim for small lawns. So if the lawn's over a certain amount of square metres, we just pass the job on to another contractor. And that enables us just to get the jobs that we like. And also you can do a ballpark figure to see whether it's worth visiting. If you provide a ballpark figure over the phone, it might save you a trip because if your data says the job's worth $60 and they're telling you that they don't want to pay over 30, then you know it's not even worthwhile going out there. Now it also allows you to be a little bit more accurate with your quotes and you're being you're doing your quotes in a uniform way. So you can start basing your quotes on facts rather than gut feelings. Now, as you do this over a period of time, you'll find that you actually get better at doing it. Your accuracy actually improves over time. And if you want to increase your hourly rate, then what you do is you just adjust your quote price on the job. And using measuring tools will allow you to be consistent with your new pricing. And it can also allow you to increase profit because if you get busy, then you can cherry pick the high profit jobs. And the more active you get, the pickier you can become and you can end up choosing just the high quality jobs that are worthwhile and then you go and visit the site. Now, as I said, if you keep on doing this, your hourly rate improves and the longer you quote like this, the higher your average quote price will become. And we've all made those quotes, you know, when you go around and you're looking at the at this lawn that you're mowing and you think, well, what on earth was I thinking when I quoted on this lawn? Well, it can help you get rid of things like that. Now, I had an excellent example the other day of how I use Google Quotes. I had this elderly guy ring me and he was a bit jaded and he wasn't even sure that he wanted someone to come around. Now, I was curious as to know why he was a bit standoffish like this. And I knew there'd be a story behind it, so I started doing a little bit of digging and I wanted to know the details. He told me another company had arranged to call in, but they never turned up and he gave them a couple of days and then he called them back. They promised to come around at 9 a.m. the following day and uh, when they came around they quoted him an absolutely huge amount of money for a regular cut. Obviously they didn't want the job. 
he wanted another quote, but he didn't want to go through this entire process again. So I was sitting at my computer, I asked him for his address, I went to Google Maps, I measured up his lawn, and it was around 500 square metres. So I typed that into my lawn quoting tool and it told me the job was worth approximately 60 bucks. So that's what I told him. I gave him the ballpark figure and he was happy to get a firm quote. So because we no longer accept jobs over 350 square metres, I told him I'd arrange for someone else to call and do the quote. And so I just texted it to a local contractor I had on file. He pays me for the leads. He went around, quoted $60, got the job, job done. And everyone was happy. Now this job probably wouldn't have happened unless I'd used Google Maps because he wanted a ballpark figure. I know this sounds really good and you're thinking, well, you can use Google Maps for everything, but, but before you rush out and start trying to use Google Maps to quote on everything, there are a few cons. Now, Google Maps is not always up to date. Some of the satellite images that you see there uh, can be up to about three years old. And this isn't uh, horribly good when you're looking at a property that's been developed. So I had their houses being knocked down and they've had a few units put up there because you can't see that on the Google Maps satellite image because it's old. And uh, so in areas that they're developing and actively building in, which also happens to be the areas that we like because that's the areas with the small lawns, it's quite difficult to get up to date pictures. So what we normally do is in the new developments, they normally have fairly standard size lawns and we will base our figures off the standard size lawns in that area. Now, another thing is, is that if there's a lot of trees, it can be really, really hard to see where the boundaries are. And that can make life a bit difficult. And sometimes you can't even see the lawn. So it's not perfect for every job. And another thing is you don't know the gradient. Everything looks flat on Google Maps. And sometimes it's not. And so you've got to be aware of that too. And this is one of the reasons why I do not give a firm figure, I give a conditional figure because I want to see the lawn before I actually firm up the quote. Now the property could be muddy or uneven and you don't know whether the lawn's overgrown. You'll have to ask when the lawn was last cut and the answer that you get may not always be correct. It could be a jungle, you just don't know. Another thing is, is that the measuring tool on Google Maps does not work on a mobile. So you'd need a tablet or a laptop if you were going to bring this on the road with you. So summing up, I'd say that Google Maps isn't the be all end all, but it's certainly worth a look. It's a really good tool for just doing general quotes and you can use it as something like a Swiss army knife, something available in your toolkit to be used if the need arises. And it's also essential to remember that this tool can be a little bit hit and miss. It can be helpful about 75% of the time and uh, sometimes it's not helpful at all. And you're never going to get rid of that part entirely if you're using Google Maps to do your quoting. Now as you can see there's plenty of good reasons to use Google Maps and I find that it does have its advantages when quoting lawns and things like getting the accurate measures and finding the driving directions and what the lawn's actually going to look like. And as offers a number of features that can save you the hassle of going out and quoting on jobs. So what I'd recommend is have a look on Google Maps. If you're sitting at home, someone rings you up, wants a quote, have a look on Google Maps, get an idea of what you're walking into, decide whether you want the job or not so you can quote or you can pass the job on and use just use it as another tool in the toolkit. So that's about all I've got to say today. So uh, until I see you again, get out there, have fun, mow lawns and happy lawn mowing people.